Hello everyone. In this short tutorial I want to tell you about a little known but very useful tool of Substance Painter. The fonts, that is a particular type of alpha masks that allow us to write a custom text with a specific font, hence the name, and to apply it with its own material, through the brushes, on the surface of the objects. This tutorial was made with the 2019 version of Substance Painter, but the fonts are already available from some previous versions, and, of course, are available in later versions of the software. It is a basic tutorial but, as usual, I suggest you also take a look at the other video tutorials published in the Substance Painter playlist, especially if you are new to the software. Well, having said that, let's get started. In the scene I am using for this example there is an object already provided with materials for its various parts. Now I would like to apply a simple writing to it, not a logo or a particular symbol, for which I should make an image and, or an opacity mask separately, with a drawing or photo editing software. I then add a fill layer on top of the object's layer stack, in order to completely cover the underlying materials, then proceed with the customization of this material, for example, with RGB color 0 0.8, 0 0.8 and 0 0.6, metallic at 0. Map Clouds 3 for roughness to give it some unevenness, and Height 0.05 to get a relief effect. The material completely covers the underlying ones, so first of all I provide it with a black layer mask, with the intention of making it white only in the points where I am going to print, so to speak, the writings. I then go to the brushes section of the shelf to choose a brush, in this case I'm choosing Basic Hard to give uniform brush strokes and without blurring the edges. Then I move to the alphas section of the shelf and filter the elements by writing font in the box text filters. For the first writing I choose a simple font, such as Jura, then I focus my attention to the parameters section of the brush, in the properties paint tab. In the text box, in particular, I change the default writing, substance, to the writing I want to type. In my example, it is created with. As I move the mouse cursor in the 3D view, I notice that the lettering is too large for the default stroke. Changing the size of the brush doesn't help, because we need to change the size of the lettering within the brush drawing area. To do this, we must act on the size parameter in the parameters section of the font. Within the parameters section you will also find other settings with fairly intuitive meanings. Type, allows you to change the style, where possible. For example, for Jura we can choose bold, while alignment, allows you to set the alignment of the writing within the drawing area of the brush stroke. As you may have noticed, I applied the writing on a curved surface. Substance orients the brush tangent to the surface then projecting the writing like an adhesive, adhering to the surface, without distortion. The writings cannot be modified after application, because they are in effect drawings made on the layer mask. In case of errors or second thoughts, however, you can undo the last operation with Ctrl Z, or delete some brush strokes in the mask with the eraser tool or, if necessary, reset the entire mask with a right click and add black mask. Depending on the geometry and UV layouts, however, you may find it more convenient to apply the lettering on the UV layout in the 2D view, rather than in the 3D one. In addition, you can examine the selected layer mask by switching to the Mask Display Mode in the viewport to more easily spot any errors or smudges. Since, as mentioned, the fonts are applied as brush strokes, in this case, on the layer mask of a fill layer, it is possible to change the font, change the writing and apply a brush stroke within the same mask. In this way, the same material will still be used, even for different writings. So far I have shown you the use of brushes on the layer mask of a fill layer, and for a real material the same considerations apply. But you can also use them directly on a layer, that is an initially empty painting layer which can be customized by setting the PBR channels or a real material inside it, giving the brush strokes directly on the layer, not on the mask.
This mode offers us the possibility to add a layer mask to add two different effects. The brush stroke with material in the layer and a different opacity mask. For example, on the screen I am adding a clouds 2 type opacity mask to a layer with the inscription. So as to be able to change the cloud settings. For example by increasing the contrast and the scale. And obtain more interesting effects by combining the two masks. Well, even for this short, but, I hope, useful, video tutorial, that's all. As usual, I invite you to express doubts, questions or requests for clarification in the comments to the video.